Would you play a Hideo Kojima game based on the Amazon series The Boys? How about an open world Unreal Engine 5 game about Chinese superhuman martial arts? And if you're playing Valorant, well, a new system will be put in place to monitor your voice chats. This and more on today's Daily Fix. The legendary creator Hideo Kojima, best known for Death Stranding, Metal Gear Solid, and PT, publicly spilled the beans on a concept very similar to Amazon's The Boys before putting it on hold. And now, a key stakeholder in the TV show says he wants a tie-in video game. Kojima posted on Twitter he had been warming up the project for a long time with Hannibal's Matt Mickelson picked for the lead. But then the boys' first season started and Kojima thought the TV show was too similar to his concept and so he put it on hold. The Boys showrunner Eric Krepke responded to Kojima's tweet declaring he was a huge fan and wanted to collaborate on a video game adaptation of The Boys, saying, please come and make a The Boys game. We can team up and conquer. Sounds like a great idea. It's not very clear whether Kojima's concept was for a game, movie, or something else entirely. But one thing is for sure, the project is no longer in the works. Currently, Kojima is working on a cloud project for Xbox, which could be the same Kojima horror game called Overdose we recently heard rumors of. There was also an interview with Norman Reedus that made the rounds in May where the actor stated that he and Kojima had just started working on the sequel to 2019's Death Stranding. Whatever will come from Kojima, only time will tell. Though I'm curious which of these projects you'd be interested in. Let me know in the comments. Moving on, Tencent Games is hard at work announcing a new open world martial arts game called Code to Jin Young. During Tencent's 2022 game conference, a two minute trailer of Code to Jin Young showed off two characters in a fast and frantic sword fight mixed with magic. This is very typical for Chinese fiction genre wuxia, usually depicting incredibly handsome men accomplishing supernatural feats of martial arts. Think Crouching Tiger Hidden Dragon, but in video game form. Developed by Lightspeed Studios, the studio that developed PUBG Mobile and Apex Legends Mobile, Code to Jin Young is a tribute to the late author, bringing his incredibly popular novels to life for the first time in a modern game targeted at an English-speaking audience. Jin Young's novels have been popularized into movies, films, television, and some game adaptations, but only recently have become popular in the West. Currently, there is no release window for Code to Jin Young, and the game's platforms are also unclear, but knowing that this game is being developed in Unreal Engine 5 certainly piques our interest. And finally, Valorant players better stick to speaking politely, as Riot Games will begin testing its voice chat monitoring technology next month. As part of a wider strategy to combat disruptive behavior in its games, Riot Games announced in a blog post its voice evaluation system would begin testing starting July 13th. The system is intended to identify community behavior violations such as abusive language and hate speech. Valorant players in North America and English-only regions will have voice chat analyzed by a system that will be used to help train Riot's language models and get the tech in a good enough place for a beta launch later this year. Though the system will start analyzing voice chat come next month, it will not judge for appropriateness. Only once the system is working efficiently will Riot launch the official beta and begin evaluating players' voice chat following reports of disruptive behavior. Though Riot acknowledges there will be growing pains with the new system, it promises to create a safer and more inclusive environment for everyone who chooses to play. Riot made it clear its plans to bring the service to its other games, like League of Legends, in the foreseeable future. So hey, watch your mouth! And that is your daily fix for today, June 27th. Nintendo announced today their 25-minute Nintendo Direct Mini that will broadcast tomorrow at 6 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, focusing on third-party partners. We'll definitely have the scoop for you when you wake up tomorrow, so sleep in, we got you covered. Follow the daily fix on Snapchat, download IGN on all the apps, and for everything else, just stick to IGN. I'm Nars, and remember to always stay fabulous.